guys welcome back to a new video my name is Mariel as you guys saw at the beginning of this video I was getting ready to head out to the grocery store I am gonna meal prep for the week so basically this is not a Sunday reset this is going to be me setting up for the week ahead I haven't I haven't necessarily cleaned the house or anything I'm gonna meal prep this week's lunches because I always end up going out and buying junk food fast food anything else that is like $20 or something I'm just spending a lot of money going out to eat during lunch and then I also want to meal prep as much as I can for dinner that way when I get back from work I can go to the gym with not a problem without having to worry about me not having dinner ready or coming home and being super hungry and not having anything ready to go right there and then so I'm gonna meal prep and I'm also going to fix my nails because I still haven't done anything to my nails and they are driving me insane it is 6 p.m. already so I'm guessing it's gonna take me about an hour to meal prep everything and get things done and then I can finally focus on my nails and get things ready for the week ahead it's gonna be a busy afternoon so I wanted to bring you guys with me I'm gonna take this off because it is pretty warm and we'll do a little haul with the things that I got from the grocery store. The first thing is this heavy whipped cream. I found this and it is an alternative for your regular whipped cream. I can't have dairy guys. So anything that I can find without dairy, I will buy. I also ran out of my favorite salsa and it's Valentina. They didn't have the big bottle. So I got three of these because I cannot, I cannot live without this in my house two bars of my favorite chocolate candy i got chicken and i got beef i'm gonna make this right now this is gonna be part of my meal prep i'm also gonna make extra of the chicken just to have for dinner like throughout the week that's the plan at least another coffee thing that i got is this mixed mocha dairy free someone had it on their stories as well and i love mocha so i saw it was dairy free and I saw it at the store today. I got eggs because I need those for today and throughout the week, obviously. I also got another one of these. I don't know if you guys have ever had it. It's so good. But it's kind of like a spicy chamoy. It's not sweet. It's more spicy than sweet. But this, I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys what I'm doing with this because it's amazing. I also got these chili peppers because I'm going to do something with them. And I think I'm almost done with the ones I have here. And this morning, I ran out of sugar. I didn't have sugar. One of my pet peeves in life is when we run out of something and we don't have a backup. Or no one tells me that we ran out of something. And I think that we still have it at the house. And then when I'm about to go grab it or use it or I'm going to eat it, say I buy a snack. You know, I usually don't always eat them. I just leave them there for when I'm ready or when I'm craving it. You know, just to have it there. And I understand it might be my fault. But say I bought something and then it's there. I know it's there. I get home from work one afternoon and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to have that chocolate bar that I bought three days ago. And then I get home and it's not there. And no one told me. I don't care if they ate it, I don't care if they finished it, but I need to know that it's no longer there or that we no longer have that thing so I can go buy more or next time I'm at the store I can buy a backup. If I know, if I see that I'm running out of something, then it's in my head. Like, I just know it. I, I just know that I need something. And if no one tells me, if no one tells me that they ate it, it's gone, it's finished, and they don't get themselves a backup that drives me insane so i don't remember finishing the sugar i don't remember throwing away the bag and that's how i remember that i finished it um so yeah i usually oh this one's ripped fantastic it's kind of it has a ripped anyways um sugar i didn't know we ran out and i didn't have sugar this morning so that's my rant. Last but not least, we have this little gorgeous bag. I got instant ramen. This cannot not be on my pantry because it is like a quick, I'm craving something, but I'm not that hungry, but I'm craving a little something. I like Maruchan. I grew up on it. 
I love Manu-chan. So here's the thing. This is um, I got some snacks for the girls, the dogs. Some bacon, they love it. So hot Cheetos, I bought a bag. Here's what I do. And this is and this is where this comes in. I bought cucumbers, a lot of cucumbers, because this is my favorite. This is one of my favorite snacks. This on a weekend, it's the best snack to have. Like when I sit down and watch a YouTube video or I'm watching anime with my husband, anything like that's the best snack. So I have cucumbers, I add hot Cheetos. These are my favorites, the lime ones. And then I add this beautiful thing right here. It's so, so good and spicy. And of course, I have to add Valentina as well. Y un chingo de limón. Lots, lots of lime. That is my favorite snack. That's why I got that. And I knew I had to replace this one because the other one is kind of old and questionable. So I just got myself a new bottle. Let me put you guys onto my favorite drink. Um, I'm not saying it's healthy yet. I haven't even looked at the sugar and stuff but it is so good they didn't have the one i like i like the one with i like the pink one the most because it's watermelon with passion fruit i believe but they didn't have that one but they had the regular one and the one with pineapple it is this right here i don't know if i have never seen it anywhere else but for for less which is the store that i go for my groceries i love that store because it has everything but i've only seen it there and it is so so good i bought four of these two of the pineapple two of the regular ones i've never had the regular one i'm guessing it's just watermelon water um which is gonna be delicious i know another thing that i got and i usually never get these i don't know why i love them but i never get them because i'm not a big juice person but you guys when it comes to humex they are so good and they were on sale they were a dollar something they were a dollar and 20 cents i believe guava is my favorite but look at this design it is so cool i love the bottle like <laughs> i know like that's not the reason why i bought it guava is my favorite flavor that's i didn't buy it for the bottle i bought it because it was it was on sale and i really <laughs> love this juice but look at this do you guys see that this is the mango i love it and i also got the peach one let me show you guys I've seen this everywhere. I know, I don't think I've had this brand before. I'm not a big fan of sparkling water or sparkling sodas, that kind of stuff. I usually don't, I don't like it at all. Why am I lying to you? But I've heard that this is like the best flavor. And if the flavor is good, I will have it. So I got two of these. And the reason why I got them is because they have probiotics and I need to, I was telling you guys, I need to, do something about my gut like i need to heal my gut somehow and then i also got these ones because i've tried these i do like them i know i will drink these i got two of the watermelon and then i've seen everyone and their mother on social media raving about the classic cola these are the poppy classic cola i'm gonna try these and if i don't like them my husband my husband will like them he he loves sparkling water sparkling soda they're not gonna go to waste he will drink them that was a grocery haul i got just everything that i need for this week i forgot to show you guys all the veggies that i got i got potatoes i got tomatoes i think we have tomatoes onion lettuce um zucchini for the chicken i'm gonna use my air fryer honestly the best thing i have in my kitchen like the quickest thing i'm gonna be able to make the chicken and also chicken for tonight for dinner we're gonna roast the chicken i'm gonna bring it down like that and we're gonna start also quick tip if you guys don't want to deal with the mess that this is for cleaning use foil on the bed and then put the chicken on top of this and you guys don't have to deal with the cleaning at the end While the chicken is getting ready, I'm gonna make some rice, but Mexican style. If you guys know, you guys know, I'm gonna add corn. You guys will see. If you guys are watching this and you guys have never had 
Mexican white rice. What are you doing? This is the only rice that I like to make. It's so good. And I'm only going to make a cup for myself because my husband doesn't like how I make it. I mean, he doesn't like corn in it. And that is like the best part about this rice. I can honestly eat it all day every day if I could. It's my favorite type of rice. And yeah, so I'm only gonna make it for myself while that is cooking. I'm also going to make veggies, which we bought frozen. This one's right here. We get them from Costco and they are such a game changer. Like you just throw this on a pan and they are ready to go. Amazing, honestly. I think I'm gonna make some for tonight and some for the meal prep. guys the rice is so good so now i get to put all my food together i'm halfway done with my meal prep i just need the steak to be ready and we are done with that i make delicious rice but my husband apparently doesn't like corn six years with a man and he tells me about a month ago or this month actually that he does not like corn he's not a fan of it it was this month i believe you think you know someone but you truly don't this is gonna be so good i packed it extra but it's all good i just put all my food together for my lunch this week and now i get to make dinner because my husband's gonna be here in about 15 minutes and that is perfect time for me to start making dinner for tonight this is the last thing going into that air fryer so let me toss that. With the chicken, we're going to use mac and cheese. So I'm going to also cook this. But before my camera dies, let me show you guys my food because my camera is going to die. And I need this is what it came to. Um, I still need veggies for this one, but I'm going to set those to the side because I don't want to have them here because it's going to be lettuce and tomatoes and oranges. That's the that's how my mom always set the plate for us. So I'm going to have those on the side. So I can just throw these on the microwave without the veggies getting soggy. And all this is going to go in the microwave. So I'm happy I had some leftovers for my husband, obviously. You guys, I had the snacks that I told you guys. Like the cucumbers with the hot Cheetos and lime and chile. I need to change my shirt because I got... I got it all over my shirt, but that's not what I'm here for. I also broke my glasses this afternoon, and I had to go get them repaired. They couldn't do anything about it, so they gave me, like, another leg. I don't know what that's called. So they had to change it. It's different from the original one, and I tried to order another pair just to have a backup. I mean, no. Those are going to be my new ones. These are going to be my backups. But apparently my prescription expired almost two years ago. I I knew. I knew I hadn't gotten my eyes checked in a while. But two years. It's been two years. So now I have an appointment tomorrow at four. Which means I'm going to have to leave work early. And you know, it is what it is. So I have to get that done. And I'm going to have new glasses soon, but that is not the real update. The real update is that I didn't put my clothes away. I was going to go work out, but I didn't put my clothes away. I did all my laundry today. I have a lot of clothes already folded, and I have to do that because if I don't, I'm just going to leave everything outside. I have to have everything put away. If not, I make it an excuse to not go work out. And that is exactly what I just did. I am going to sacrifice today's workout to continue setting myself up for success this week. Like that was a plan yesterday. I did all my meal preps. That was great. It was all good. Now I have to clean this room so I can feel ready this week and I don't have anything to do at home. I have a bunch of clothes that I, I need to put away, basically. I'm going to play a video on YouTube and, you know, it's going to be fun. But I also have other stuff down here and... These two are full of clothes. I need to get them out 
and um, put them away. I need to fold them. I'm honestly just gonna watch something on YouTube. Uh, I found this girl, she's from Mexico, and I'm having so much fun watching her videos. Her name is Mariana Bonilla, if you guys want to follow her. She speaks Spanish. I'm still covering Chile, don't mind me. Here's where we stand. I have folded my clothes, and they're all in their categories as to where they go in my closet. I have no space in my closet, and I believe, I truly do believe that the reason why things fit in my closet is because I have to have dirty laundry. Does that make sense? I don't know if this is a problem everyone has or it's just me, but I truly do believe that the reason why I fit all these clothes is because I count on myself having laundry piled up for myself. Now, um, now I have to figure out how to do this. What I wanted to show you guys was this jacket. Like, I don't know how to wash it. I went to Goodwill with my sister to look for something that she needed. And she found this jacket. And I'm obsessed with it. It is a jacket from the Olympics. I know of two people here in town that went to the Olympics. Like, they were athletes in the Olympics. Actually, one of them, I consider him my friend. He went to the 2006, I believe. Was that Athens? Was that in Athens? Um, because that's the, one, that's the one that he went to. He was a boxer. He was a boxer. He was a professional boxer. So he did that. And then also for college, I had one of my professors. I can't remember what class I had her for, but she did like the disc throwing. I believe she won bronze, but I don't remember which Olympics she went to. Um, but I mean, it's really cool to know people that have been to the Olympics and, you know, they athletes in the Olympics. So I found this jacket. And it's, I was thinking like, oh, it, it might be from one of the athletes, but I don't think so because it has this, it's from the Olympics committee. I don't know exactly what they did, but you guys, it's such a nice jacket. It feels rich. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It, it feels really nice and I want to wash it. I want to wash it because I obviously don't know whose it was, but, um, I don't want to ruin it so I have to figure out if I'm gonna wash it by hand or if I can take it to the dry cleaners and it was only seven dollars like I don't know who gave it away but that's a really nice jacket another thing that I got for almost like ten dollars is this purse I didn't need another purse but I thought it was so pretty for like summer i want to wear this with a summer dress but i also want to clean it and i don't know how to do that i don't know how to wash it like i don't think this one totally forgot about this book oh my goodness that is exactly why i bought it i got it i got it because i was like if it's a book and i forgot i bought this book as well writers and lovers by lily king i wanted to read it i would definitely love to clean this one because this one feels dusty and all that stuff so those are my finds and we also got a pair of jeans that didn't fit me but they will fit my sister so i have to give her those but yeah let me get back into putting all this away it's just i don't know how i'm gonna do it wish me luck all right guys update on my glasses i believe i told you guys yesterday that my glasses broke and I had to go get them fixed but they had to add <laughs> this leg that doesn't go with it. I had an appointment today to get my prescription updated. Good news, my prescription didn't change much. It pretty much stayed the same. It just changed like the tiniest amount, not a lot. And those are good news because I thought I needed to change my whole prescription like it was going to change a lot but he said it was pretty much the same and that's all good however when i went to get my glasses i wanted to choose another frame and i wanted to look around and see everything so the guy that started helping me he was so nice and everything but i was like give me a chance to look around so i can choose another frame he was like okay go ahead and then when i came back with the new frames that i chose he was gone i don't know where he went and the guy that the guy that was helping me yesterday ended up being the guy that helped me today and he was so rude. The same as yesterday, he did not want to deal with me or he didn't want to deal with 
a new customer. I could just tell from the beginning that he saw me again. I said like, like I know he remembered me, but he was just rude. I'd rather them not help me. I get it. You might not like your job. You might not want to be there, but it's not my fault. I was trying to be as nice as I could. Fue muy constante conmigo, and I just there was a moment I was looking into sunglasses because I need to, I need to get. Because I want to get sunglasses with my prescription. And I asked him, I was like, oh, can you give me a quote on these sunglasses? How much would it be? Because obviously my my insurance wouldn't pay for that. And he was like, like the wall that I was pointing at, he was saying that those are the ones. Like you can just buy those as they are. And anything in the back wall, I could choose and make them into sunglasses. So I asked him, oh, so you mean those right there on that wall? You can't order them with prescription and he repeated himself instead of saying no but the way he said it i was like you could have just said no it was like uh like i just told you this i'm gonna repeat it and i don't know it was just annoying um yeah i have about an hour before i head out to my class for the gym so i want to take advantage of this moment this time um the girls are tired. I played with them to make sure that I had time to do my nails because, you guys, I have been meaning to do my nails for two weeks now and I just don't have time. Like, I want to sit down and do gel on my nails, but I just haven't had time and I'm not going to have time at all this week. And I hate looking at them like this. They're just... I, I need to do something about them, so I'm going to... um. I'm gonna do brown on my nails and then I'm gonna use this one. This one makes them last longer. But for now, I'm gonna do this and probably watch a video and finish and continue drinking this because I'm gonna go work out in a bit. And I need the energy. I'm not gonna finish it because then I'm not gonna fall asleep. But yeah, rant over.